All right, let's get right into it. What we're looking at here is a massive high stakes battle in the world of AI. You've got the reigning champ, ChatGPT, the app that basically wrote the rulebook. And on the other side, a brand new challenger, DeepSeek, that's just tearing that rulebook up. This is the AI app war. You know, this quote just hits the nail on the head. 2023 was, without a doubt, the year of ChatGPT. But the AI world moves fast, really fast. And there's a new beast on the scene. And it's not just knocking on the door in Asia. It's pretty much kicking it off its hinges. So to really understand this fight, you first have to get a sense of just how big the prize is. I mean, the scale of the mobile AI market is, well, it's absolutely mind-blowing. To put a number on it, just let this one sink in. Nearly 1.7 billion. That's how many times generative AI apps have been downloaded across the globe. We are talking about a gigantic worldwide audience that is just incredibly hungry for this tech. And, you know, wherever you find that many users, the money isn't far behind. We're talking about almost $2 billion in revenue from in-app purchases alone. And get this, that's just for the first half of 2025. The financial stakes here are just enormous. Which, of course, brings us to the challenger. Okay, so let's talk about this newcomer, DeepSeek, the one causing all this chaos. Because it didn't just quietly enter the market. No, it absolutely exploded onto the scene in a way I don't think anybody really saw coming. I mean, its launch back in January of 2025, it wasn't just another app release. It was a genuine liftoff. Seriously, it was something else. It wasn't just another AI app. It was a record-shattering phenomenon right from day one. And here is the stat that just makes your jaw drop. Think about this for a second. In its first six months, it got more downloads than any other generative AI app ever, including the legend itself, ChatGPT. This wasn't just a good launch. It was, by the numbers, the most successful launch in the history of this entire category. So you've got to ask, how on earth did they do it? Well, it all comes down to strategy. See, DeepSeek played it smart. It didn't try to go head-to-head -head with ChatGPT in places like North America or Europe. Nope. Instead, it focused on these huge, fast-growing markets in Asia, the Middle East, and Africa. And the growth there has been absolutely explosive. But, you know, a record-breaking launch is one thing. Actually dethroning the king? That's a whole different ballgame. And just when it looks like the challenger has all the momentum, the champion has a way of reminding everyone exactly why they're the one wearing the crown. It's the big question, isn't it? After seeing DeepSeek's incredible start, you can't help but wonder, is the game just fundamentally different now? Well, not so fast. Okay, this is where you really see the big picture. DeepSeek's launch was a rocket ship, for sure. But when you zoom out and look at the all-time race, you see the size of the mountain it still has to climb. ChatGPT isn't just in the lead. It's in a completely different galaxy with 940 million downloads. That is a massive long-term advantage. And if we follow the money, the story gets even clearer. ChatGPT isn't just winning the revenue game. It is completely and utterly dominating it. It's pulling in nearly two-thirds of all the cash being spent on AI apps. All of them combined. But really, its true power isn't just about downloads or even revenue. It's about how deeply it's woven into people's daily lives. It's about something we call stickiness. So what does that stickiness actually look like? Well, the average user is opening the app 13 times a month. That's engagement on the same level as huge social platforms like Reddit and X. It's becoming a daily habit for millions, and it's even starting to chip away at how often people use traditional search engines. That's an incredibly powerful place to be. Okay, so let's get into the head-to-head -head matchup. How is each of these apps fighting to win you over and keep you coming back? And who exactly are their users? Right now, both of them are locked in this fierce feature arms race. They're constantly rolling out new stuff. And the big battlegrounds at the moment seem to be image generation and these really advanced voice modes. They're both racing to become your all-in-one AI sidekick. Now, this tale of a tape is really interesting because it shows they're attracting completely different crowds, at least in the U.S. DeepSeek seems to click with a more privacy-focused, heavily male audience. You know, the kind of folks who also use apps like Telegram or the Brave browser. ChatGPT, on the other hand, has a much broader, younger, and more gender-balanced user base. It's got that true mainstream appeal. 
All right, so after all the rounds, after looking at the explosive launch, the long-term numbers, the money, the users, who's actually winning this thing? Let's go to the judge's scorecard for the final verdict. And what we have is a split decision. You just can't deny it. DeepSeek is absolutely winning the war for initial adoption with that historic launch. But at the very same time, you can't argue with ChatGPT's colossal lead in revenue and its overall market dominance. In a way, they're both winning, just in very different arenas. And that leaves us with this final thought to chew on. Right now, in the AI war of 2025, DeepSeek's incredible speed seems to be beating ChatGPT's massive scale. The big, multi-billion dollar question is, for how long? In this fight for AI supremacy, the battle between the scrappy, fast-moving challenger and the dominant, established champion is far, far from over.